Yeah. Namaste, guys. Welcome to my channel. It's me, Kerry. This is Laid Out Bear, guys. I'm on the floor today because it's cold. If you haven't been here before, welcome. It's crazy in here. It is cold, Mickey, guys. I ain't going to lie. And I'm crazy. So, <laughs> if you're crazy, welcome. I do angel cards and I get downloads and I'm an intuitive psychic reader so I just give you a read. Just so you know, it's only for entertainment purposes only. Take whatever you feel resonates with you. With my readings, not every message will be for you. Maybe it will. But you've got to just read into it yourself. So I don't know your story. All I know is what your angels are telling me but I can get a rough idea of your story as I go along. So if I mentioned father and you think, oh, it's not my father, then it's just someone who's fathered a child in their life, okay? And if it means child, it might be you because you've been reborn, so you might be God's child, all right? It might not be they've had a child, okay? So don't, if anything triggers you in tarot, just leave because all tarot is, is um, confirmation of what you already know. So it's like watching the news. I just thought I'd tell you that because I've got a download before I come on that some people, um, watching tarot um, get a little bit triggered and think that every message is for them if you feel triggered it means your angels are telling you to get off that channel all right so we'll start off and see how we go I got guided on it because I wasn't coming on it I was about to be washing up <laughs> so you're not for everyone and he and she's not for you listen you're not for them and they're not for you guys all right if you're dealing with work and it's to do with a co-worker or a boss, then um, I feel like they've made you feel a bit mm, like agitated lately and you just feel a little bit annoyed about things that have been going on and work definitely do not deserve you. So I think you might need a change. Maybe you need to get into something like teaching or your job may be teaching that you're already in that you're not liking. But where you are, they don't deserve you. And I think you've got people around you at work that are quite jealous of you and jealous of the way you do things. Just the way you present yourself or the way you present your work. The people that you're dealing with are very lazy. They don't work as hard as you. But I think they want to take the credit for the work that you do, like, but they don't work as hard as you. Yeah, I'm getting itchy you nose. Know, this is confirmation for somebody. This is to do with work. <sighs> Maybe you're more of a boss at work, or you know, because it says teach. Maybe you know more about the job than these people think you do, because you're not so out there and loud about everything, and you just get your, I just said, get your nut down, and get your head down, and you just get on with it. Maybe people find you to be a bit, I would, I heard mysterious, but they think you're secretive because you're, yeah, you, you um, realign yourself quite a lot. I think if you, I see you, um, if anything bothers you, you can like sort of deal with it. As long as you know what's going on, I just said, you can deal with it. You can sort of not realign yourself and put it into like little compartments sort out what's going on and then you're all right the next day and i think people are jealous of that <clears throat> yeah because you just brush yourself off and move on but yeah you definitely should think about having a change in career maybe like i said you could be a teacher or you maybe you want to get into teaching or teaching yourself a new skill you need to embrace yourself now and you do i think Whoever you've been dealing with made you literally want to turn into a serial killer. <laughs> I'm not joking. I think it got you to that point where you um, literally probably thought, if I weren't as nice as I am, I would take a bitch out. That's what I'm hearing. I think these people, um, yeah, you'd have had to hand yourself in. Maybe, yeah, the person you're dealing with... Oh, don't. Oh, don't. I don't like messages like this. I don't know where that came from all of a sudden. Hi, Karma. He always comes up when there's a problem, so brace yourself, because it says brace yourself, yeah? I've just been told, no, Karma, come on, sit down now. 
Good boy. I just got maybe this person. Don't take this the wrong way because this could mean a few things in tarot land, all right? I love you, Gypsy. She's licking my leg. My dogs know when I'm reading. This is true, okay? Someone you dealt with. I'm going to say it could have been a serial killer. But don't take it literally because killing someone in spiritual land could mean they try to kill their soul. They could have taken opportunities and things off of people which would have destroyed them and it would have killed them off where they might have taken their own life. Maybe this person had to hand themselves in at one time to do with something to do with a gun. This is before they met you, or if they're at work, this could be what they're like behind the scenes and you don't know. They're quite a rogue. Yeah, don't take killing as a, like, literally killing people. But they, I'm getting, like, the way this person, yeah, controlling, the way this person treats people, like, if they can't get what they want, they'll just take you out. Someone could have had a hitman on you. I just heard hitman. But hitman's not always hitman, as in hitman with a gun. What you watch in the movies. In Tarot Land, a hitman can be a man that someone sent to you. Thank you, angels. Someone sent to you to do a hit on you. So it could not mean killing you. Well, it could be, but it could mean like a hit on you, like you was the target. But there, someone knew you before you knew them. And they had a hit on you. Don't, this can mean that you might be in a position where you nearly did get killed. And you might be living in bed and breakfast or something now. And it might resonate with you. If it does, I do. I'm apologise. But I hope this isn't triggering you. I think I'm going to leave it there. I just feel this person, because it says, look. If you're a serial killer, now I normally have a joke with this card, but I don't feel like joking on it today. I feel like someone might have handed themselves in before, or they might have got arrested before, and you don't know. Because they, serial killer to me, in Taroland, is a serial cheater, a serial homewrecker. So that would kill you, because if you're a woman, you know if you've been through it, and a man, if someone, yeah, like, confirmation... Angels, help me go somewhere with this. Right. Okay. Right, someone was paying too much attention to your finances. Because you was a good asset to this person. And they wanted to take you out. I don't know if this is work or relationships. I'm not getting it at the minute. Just go with me, all right? So... And whoever this person is, did not and does not deserve you. You're more of a teacher than this person. They was paying too much attention. Yeah, they was paying too much attention on your finances, yeah, and your work, what you had coming in, what you had going out. Could have been products, could have been money. They was watching what you had coming. I could see a production line. They were watching what you had coming in, what you were, like, building. And they could see that you was focused on your happiness, yeah? Because you were obviously building something for you or them. But whilst you was doing this, someone was paying too much attention yeah, in the back scene on your finances. Now, they could be on a computer. I'm seeing a computer. You could have been focusing on your happiness with work, maybe in the front of a, say, in the front of an office or something, and someone's at the back paying attention to what you're earning and what's coming in, what's going out, checking your books, yeah? Take this as it resonates. Could be work. I'm feeling very work today. Yeah, I just heard, yeah, but this person was a job and off. Hard work, mate. This person was hard work. So you'll know who it is. This person's hard work. Not does hard work. It's hard work to deal with. Yeah, little bitch. I just don't like really. Something's been written down. Something's been written down. About your thoughts and your feelings, yeah. 
Yeah, and you've let them out. Sammy, you've outed this person with a letter or a message or a download even. Thank you, angels. Oh, well. <laughs> so you've outed this person or people because you've wrote down something to do with how they affected your, yeah, look, confirmation. Thank you, angels. I knew I had to come on here. Right. So, are you getting me with this? Sorry, I'm literally, there, look, confirmation. This is confirmation. I'm itching all over. So you've wrote down something or they've wrote down something. I feel you've wrote down something about your thoughts and feelings. Maybe you wrote a letter to the head office where you was working about this person. It's out. They read it. It's out. It did get sent out. So wherever you were sending it, it did get sent out. I don't know if it was sent out on the internet or sent out by post or sent out by email, but I've just heard it's been sent out. So it's out there. Could be out there as in out there. Oh, well. Yeah, because you were focused on your happiness and work, but someone else was focused on your finances and paying attention to your happiness and your finances. Yeah, because they wanted you in nothing but a life of struggle, yeah? So struggling with everything. Struggling with money. They didn't want you to even have a home. Like, they wanted you to be left with hardly anything. Yeah, because they were worried about a project that you were starting. Whatever you were trying to do, it was life-changing for you. And they were really worried about it. Maybe you mentioned it to these people before about a project you were starting. Maybe you shouldn't have mentioned it, but you did. Or you're going to. So you were worried. They were worried, sorry, about a project that you'd already started. I feel you wanted this person to come along with you on this project. But they weren't in on it with you. They was like literally trying to get out of you. what They wanted to succeed with what your work that you put in. Yeah, so they wanted you, they were worried about you starting a business or starting something up for you. And then they were, they wanted to go along with you, but make sure that you had nothing but a life of struggle. Yes, yeah, still in your ideas, I got. Because they tried to keep you down. They tried to keep you down, but I feel you blocked them or you must have found out what was going on. That's why you outed these people. Or maybe someone outed them in a letter and you read the letter or the email. Yeah, because you were planning something. And whatever you were planning, whatever you were planning or implementing, they was talking about with other people. Sorry, I'm getting downloads. Right, yeah. They wanted to keep you down and they would, whatever you was doing or, or like ideas you had, they were talking to other people about behind your back, which they knew would bring you good finances, which they knew if they tried to take you down and steal your ideas, that they could try and take your home and your stability away. Yeah, because you're the kind of person that grows like you can grow without the help of anybody else. I think you're quite a strong individual. And you don't need to take on other people's responsibilities. I think you're okay on your own. And you were constantly taking everything one day at a time but while you were building this business or building what you were building they were behind your back without you knowing trying to take your home from you so that means they could have been trying to take your job trying to take your money trying to take your finances they were basically trying one day at a time to take away your home and your stability so you didn't feel stable that means they could have been making you feel scared 
threatening you. Yeah, because they knew that you constantly grow. And I think they see that your business, what you was doing, you was getting bigger and bigger and it was growing and growing. You were growing and growing. And I think you knew, because you're a little ray of sunshine. You are right, lovey? Because you're a little ray of sunshine sitting on the curb somewhere swinging your legs. <laughs> I believe you're quite small. Well, the person you're dealing with could be small. Yeah, so you're sitting there, sitting on a curb somewhere, swinging your legs. <laughs> your little uh, sunshine, you. I feel you're quite happy lately. I, I feel really smiley on this card. Yeah, and you thought things are going to get better. Either between you and this business partner or you and this person. So you could, you started growing everything and getting everything ready and you were doing everything. But somebody overstepped your boundaries. Yeah, someone overstepped the mark. And they can't justify what they did. Yeah, someone needs to explain themselves because they overstepped the boundaries with you and they need to justify what they've done. Yeah, because you were brave enough to go along with this project or this idea you had. And all they kept doing was putting negative thoughts into your head. And they were challenging you, I think, without you realising it. So you'd get negative. And it kept them positive, but you're negative. But you're building whatever it is and they're taking it off you behind the scenes. Yeah, because they got addictions. And you've got something to do with this person in your past. Maybe it's a vendetta against you. Or this person just basically didn't like you or jealous of you or your business. I don't think you realise they got addictions. Or maybe you did and that's why you got rid of them in your business. And then they tried to sabotage you. Thank you, angels. Because they got no love for these people for anybody. Lonely, I just got these people, very lonely individuals they are. Right, let's have a shuffle. Yeah, because you were quite brave and you believed in your self and they refused to believe what you was planning to do. They didn't believe in you. Whatever you was doing, they didn't believe in you. Oh, they fucking do now. Yeah, so whatever you was doing, they didn't believe in you, but God made things easy for you because you called on God for help and he said, I'll make things easy. Yeah, that just moved then like that. Look, that went whoop. Yeah, so you asked God for help. God, over time, made things easier for you and they refused to believe, so you blocked their ass. Yeah, or God blocked their ass. They're dealing with two other people. They could have two other people in your business, like trying to... Ah, guess what just came out? Because they're a fucking joker. Yeah, they're a joker. They're a loser. They are an absolute loser, this person. A twat, I just heard. Yeah, this joker has got addictions. And they know that you're, if you get freedom, they think you're going to get money or earn more money or get more money than them. But your goal is not money. Your goal is freedom. I think all you wanted was freedom from this joker or jokers. Yeah, but don't worry, they're being judged now for what they've done. So if they've stolen from you, because God see what they've done. So they're getting judged now because you constantly grew and you made sure things got better whilst they were trying to take away your stability one day at a time. You just kept going and you proved these people wrong. You proved these people wrong by keeping going. That's why they're being judged now for being the joker that they are.
Yeah, because you showed them up now with this. There's a letter or a message that's opened this can of worms. And you show them up for what and who they are now, for being a joker who tried to take away your freedom and your goals to do with work or relationship because they've got addictions and they're bored. I believe you had a special bond with these people at one point and you probably wouldn't believe this was even going to happen. Yeah, because they're so controlling, they lost control. They tried to take... You looked after this person. If it was work or personal life, you looked after them better than anybody did. I think you helped these people out. Maybe you helped them out with money or maybe they wanted a raise at work or something. Or they want Not a raise, sorry. Um like wages early or something. I think you would have sorted this person out. I think this person probably wasn't as badly, like not so not well off as they told you, but they still take what you had. Yeah, you looked after this person, this joker. And all they did was try and control your finances and what you was building in your business. And then by doing that, becoming so controlling, they actually lost control. Yeah, because they're not as brave as you. Yeah, the plan fell through, I just heard. <laughs> oh, it's your love and my angels, they tell me. Yeah, and they know that you're stronger now because you've got your uh, religion behind you. And they're realizing that God is your strength now. And it does get better, guys. It does. Don't worry. Where are we going with this? I'm liking this at the minute. I love it when it's a bit different. Just take it as it resonates, guys, because you'll know your story. All right? It does feel work today, but then, like I said, they could have been a job and an half. They were hard work. Yeah, but don't worry, guys, because guess what? Their party's over. Yeah? Guess what? Yours has just started and they ain't invited. Yeah, the party's over now, guys. I think you'll find these people are broke. Yeah, their party's over. Well, yours has just started. So they're not invited. So now, whatever they've done behind the scenes and made money out of you, now they've lost it. Now they want to come back and take whatever else is left, what you've got or what you've built. Because their party's over now. They've part no karma, karma, come back, darling. They parted everything. Come on. They put lay behind me, sit behind me. They parted away all the money and all the stuff and their, their own selves as well. This joker. And I feel this person probably feels like they're missing you, or you might be. See, they know that you don't matter to them. And I don't mean this horrible because these people are like just controlling arseholes, jokers, addicts, right? So this person thinks that you're still missing them. They know that you don't matter to them, but they're still going to try and come back and stop you from moving forward. Because they know that you used to have a hard time choosing yourself. They think you're the same now, but I believe you're not. Yeah, and now they're really into your life now because they can see that you've you had a hard time choosing yourself. I think they can see now that you are choosing yourself. Maybe you look better. Maybe your business has got better. Maybe you're advertising somewhere. And they think you miss them at work or miss them as a partner because now they're getting obsessed with you now in a strange way and they're really into your life. Because they don't know. They're missing a piece of the puzzle I just heard. They don't know what's going on. They like to know what's going on, these people. And they, they ain't getting the pieces of the puzzle into your business, into your life. And they don't like it. Yeah, because it says again, you've become your biggest fan. And now you've become a really incredible person. And you're braver now. And everything's happening to you for the greatest good now. 
because you put your love and passion into whatever you was building for yourself or your family and you didn't let anybody come in the way of that. Like, you had to jump through hoops to get where you are and like, yeah, and jump over boulders. <coughs> oh, <coughs> confirmation. Yeah, don't worry, because you put a lot of love into this now and everything's happening to you now. Yeah, and now you're going to shine bright and you are. Because this little joker knows that you've shown them up for who they are now. And they don't like it. Right. Yeah, because you're doing things different. Not like you used to. And they don't know how you're moving. Like where you're going. What time you're doing this. Like I think you're completely different in your routine. Or... Maybe you're opening your business at a different time. Maybe you don't work at the office anymore. Maybe you don't work at the station anymore. Maybe you work from home. Maybe you've moved your home. They don't like it. Yeah, they don't like it. Because you do things different now than you used to do in the past. And I think they're worried about who's around you, who's supporting you, who's helping you. Like, they think you're not doing this on your own. You might be getting help. Who cares? None of their business. Yeah, and I think you had to, like, really fuck these people off in the end and be that person you didn't want to be to tell this person to... Maybe you had to tell this person to leave the premises where they were working or maybe don't come back to the premises or just don't ever come back to these premises. Yeah, but you weren't... I think you was afraid at first, but then you knew not to be afraid, so you did. Yeah, because I think you gave this person too much leeway, too many, um, oh, angels, how do you put it? You basically put them on a pedestal and made them feel more special than they were and made them feel entitled. Maybe they were your favourite at work. Maybe you let them come on little trips with you. Maybe you just let them into more information that you shouldn't have done. Maybe you told them a few secrets that you shouldn't have done. And these people... Yeah, these people really did think they had one up on you because you gave them a bit of a platform and then they wanted to take it off of you. It's not your fault. We've all done it. But now, they got gutted, yeah? That, this little game they're playing, they're losing or lost because that's how they feel. Because you was the one that was, you're the better one out of you two. You're the better one. They know you're the better one. They don't like the fact that you're the better one because they're very entitled to people. This joker who's being judged now for what they did or doing. So it's definitely out through a letter I'm getting. Or an email. Oh, my back, sir. Maybe that's a sign. Someone's got a bad back. Maybe they suffer from a bad back because my back's really, really hurting at the bottom at the minute. Yeah, and their jealousy now, it's turning them into monsters. And it is. It's turning them into monsters now. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Because now they feel like they're getting played now. How, you, how they played you with ignoring you, I just heard like not being um, vacant, now they're feeling the same and they don't like it. So maybe they're ringing and you're not answering. Maybe they're sending messages and you're not answering. Maybe they're turning up and you're not answering. Yeah, because they know that whatever they try to do on you has backfired. And they know that you're exactly where you told them that you would be. Because you're healing now towards happiness. And their plans have backfired now. So whatever they were planning on you, this little joker, you've shown them up now for who they are and what they are. Oh, that just went flying out of my hand then. Look at that. That went flying out of my hand then like someone threw it. God will provide for you. Now, don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. That's confirmation, all right? Confirmation. If you're worried listening to this and it's triggering you, don't worry. God's here. Yeah, because God's going to show them up now for what they are, mate. Because you reflect everything back. By being the beautiful, lovely person you are, honest, you've reflected everything back to them like a mirror, what they haven't done. So God's basically going to show up for you now and he will provide for you, okay? So you will be getting your abundance that that joker tried to take from you. 
Yeah, you're not the same people as this person. You're not the same person, sorry, as these... You're not. You've not got a lot in common. You might have had a lot in common before, but you haven't now. Zero, 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 zero. Four zeros up there, guys. Yeah, you're not the same as this person. Because you're an emperor or an empress. You're really in charge of your um, empire. You're very, very important at what you do. Whether it's your job or at home or even with the kids. I think you're very, um, not military, but you're quite like royal bloodline. Like you carry yourself well. And you're from very like royal lineage. Yeah, you're the emperor and empress that you're supposed to be now. Yeah, because you've done an energy cut in and got rid of someone or something or a business or a cult or something that was getting involved in how your finances were not coming along. Yeah, I feel whatever you're doing now is making you very happy because someone wasted your time in the past and now you feel like whatever you're doing, it's not... It's not going as fast as you'd like it to go, but you're quite happy with the way it's going. Yeah, and you feel like whatever you're, no, darling, whatever you're doing now, whatever you're doing now, you don't feel it's a waste of time. No, you don't. Hello, my darling. I know, old girl. Come and sit on me. Like you turned me telly off now, ain't you? I'm sorry, guys. This is normally a sign, this is. Someone's probably going to... You've got angels protecting you. This is a sign, because my dogs are very spiritual. Come and sit down, then. Normally, if Gypsy doesn't interrupt me when I'm doing this, he will. <laughs> Gypsy doesn't. You're going to give us a bit of a uh, bit of spirituality, Gyps. You're very spiritual, aren't you, darling? Why will you come and say it for a reason? Yeah, you're very close to your dreams, you are. You are... I think this person or people that you put on a pedestal who came for you, they know you're close to your dreams now. They might have heard on the grapevine, I just heard. So they know that you're close to your dreams. Yeah, my nose is itching. Yeah, this is the person that came for you. They're angry now. Oh, they are. Because you've mirrored back to them. And now, now they're feeling um obsessed with your potential now because you turned all your worries over to god and this person's now obsessed with your potential <laughs> because you kept going and you knew that your dreams were going to come true and this person they didn't show up for you before and now they're obsessed with your potential because they don't know what's going on but they know you're succeeding thank you angels Right, stay there, darling. It's all right. You can stay there, sweetie. Did you just give a little sign and she went... <sighs> you fed up with this as much as I am. It's the energy. Even the dogs are fed up with it. <laughs> right. So, yeah. So, now, what they're doing is... <laughs> so, now, they know that you have got no dramas now. You're living quite a peaceful life. I don't know how they know, but they know. And they know that you're a lot more calmer as a person. Probably the way you're walking and that, and you come across more calm and you're just, a, they know you're a different person. So now, because they can't clone you, because they can't see what you're doing or they can't see what your business is doing, they don't know what your turnover is, they don't know what clothes you're wearing, they don't, they don't well, this person can see you though, but I feel like they can't get near you because this person tried to clone you or clone your business, now they're angry because you're happy, they're angry because you're calm. So now they're projecting negative energy towards you, but it's not getting them anywhere because it's all blocked. So they're now realizing that they can't do anything to stop you. Yeah, because you're very inspiring, more inspiring than this person. And they don't like the fact that, isn't it bad? They don't like the fact that you inspire other people, but you're actually inspiring them. Thank you, angels. You're actually inspiring them because they're watching you grow. How the tables turn, eh? Yeah, right. 
So do not give up, yeah, if people try and come back and stop you. Do not give up, all right? Don't. Because you need to be your own hero now. I think you have to be your own hero during all this. Maybe there was two partners and now it's just you. Yeah, because they know that you're not a choice for them now. And they know... Yeah, they don't like you now. They don't like you now. They don't like... I don't like them now. No, no, I don't like them now because they're all safe in the midst of chaos and they're happy and I don't like it because their happiness is making me miserable. So I feel like they're like, no, no, don't care what they're doing. It's not that important anyway. Yeah, they don't like it because they're not a choice for you and they've got a black heart and they know you've realised this now that they weren't as nice as what you thought they were. Yeah, they know now that you... I believe you probably thought this person was your hero at one point. And now you've got to be your own hero. And don't give up. Don't give up. Because now they're possessed. They're obsessed with your potential now. Yeah, because you're not being gaslit and manipulated anymore. And that's making you happy. And God's providing for you, which is making them miserable. Yeah, and they don't like the fact that now you've turned your pain into power, where they thought it was going to make you destroy you and lose everything. Because God healed you. Yeah, and now you're getting healthier every day, and you are. I believe you are. I believe you're getting a lot healthier, a lot happier. I think you're um, nourishing yourself a lot more than you used to. Yeah, because you're not feeling sorry for other people anymore. You're not. You're not feeling sorry for other people anymore. You're just worrying about you and your health. And uh, you're just worrying about you every day. Good for you. Right, so we've got in my angels. Woo! Yeah, and you have to no need to explain yourself to anybody else. It's nobody's business. And know that not all are against you. Not everyone's against you. You've got some people that are supporting you in the background. They probably don't even need to explain to you who they are, but they know who you are, I just said. You've got more people against, more people with you, I apologise, than against you. I think you felt a little while ago that you had a lot of people trying to get in your business, trying to steal this, trying to take that. It's not getting like that anymore. No, not all are against you. They're not. And you don't have to explain yourself to anybody. No, because people are going to hate you for whatever you do anyway, because they're jealous of you. Yeah, I think maybe they don't like you because they were controlling and they can't control you or your business anymore. Oh, hey, baby, you rolled off, darling. Oh, stay there. You're keeping my feet warm, Gypsy. <laughs> yeah, because you're happier now. You are. Oh, one of the dogs has farted. Maybe someone's going to come and shit on your day. Fucking hell. Jeez, I'm only joking. Don't feel horrible today at all, babes. Yeah, wasting your time and theirs. Yeah, because these people, they're not wasting your time anymore. Because they're hurt. They're hurt people, yeah. They just waste their own time. They're not wasting your time anymore. Because now you've got a lot more self-confidence now. I think you're a lot more happy in yourself now. And they can't waste your time anymore. Because it's over now. They can't waste your time anymore. They'll waste their time thinking they can waste your time because they're hurt. They're probably hurt because they know that not everyone's against you now like they wanted them to be and that you didn't need to explain yourself but they've got a lot of explaining to do now. Yeah, because you choose to be happy. You worked on yourself and your self-confidence and now you can celebrate good times. Yeah, and your environment is nice now. Maybe you're going to be moving soon, I just said. Or you have moved. Or you're going to be moving up a little bit somewhere better than you were, like a bigger place. Or you might have downsized and have a better place. Yeah, and I think you're going to be a lot more smarter now. Like, be careful who you talk to with your neighbours. Careful who you get involved with. Be careful who you get involved with in your community. But you are going to be in an environment that's going to be absolutely perfect for you. Even if you're staying in the same environment, you're still going to be all right. It's going to feel like a different environment now. Thank you, angels, for this. It's been lovely. Right, we've got a bunch come out now, so I'm going to leave it on these. Yeah, because you took this and just ate this shit. You did. You did this. The same as your awakening. You you got through this. I think you struggled, but you did get through this. Yeah, because you, you gave yourself... Sorry, not showing you the cards. You gave yourself the time you needed to sort yourself out. You did. And I think after a while, everybody realised that all that stuff they were talking about, all the spell work, all the lies, yeah, it just all backfired. 
Yeah, because everyone can see that you're manifesting goals. They can see that you're achieving more than this person or people now. You can see it. You can see it. There's no getting away from it that you can manifest stuff. I think people realising that you manifest a lot and you really have got some good goals. Yeah, because people were trying to change you and change the way you were because they were jealous. Yeah, and it's like the light bulb's just gone off. Yeah, for them it has. Or well, that could mean a death. When the light bulb's just gone off. That come up for you earlier as well. It feels like a light bulb's just gone off. Yeah, I bet they feel in the dark now. They might, that might not mean, oh, I've got a headache. Oh. oh, didn't like that. That could be a death. Yeah, it could be like the lights went out. Well, it may be that makes them feel like they're in the dark now. Maybe it's going to be, they're going to be in the darkness like they wanted you in the darkness and it feels like all the lights have gone off now. Maybe you were their light. Maybe now they feel like their light has gone and they ain't got a light no more to follow because they didn't want your light. They wanted to put your lights out, I just heard. Because uh, they were keeping tabs on you because you were taking time out for yourself and they knew you were manifesting. And they knew that you wouldn't stick to the rules. These people, they do, they break rules, but they make out they stick to the rules. And they do everything by the book, but they don't like change. That makes sense, does it? But you don't stick to the rules. You jump out the box, yeah, and you make things happen because you're spontaneous. And they know you manifest like that. Yeah, and all the magic's backfired. Everything's backfired. It's all finished now. And it is. Well, what a sorry state of affairs to get in, isn't it? Well, guys, I'm going to leave that there because I feel like that's, that's all you need from my angels. Thank you, angels and ancestors, for guiding me through this read. In Jesus' name, amen. I really enjoyed that. And I hope this resonates with some of you or one of you. And, uh, yeah, keep moving forward, guys, because I'm feeling you've got good things coming, mate, and you have. And these people, well, they should have come with you or they should have believed in your dream that you had together because now it's your dream on your own. And, uh You've got people that support you more than you think, mate. Don't think you haven't. It's all going to turn around for you guys. I can feel it. It's really nice reading. I love you guys, okay? Namaste, guys. We're getting there, aren't you?